Hi, welcome to Evelyn's oven. Hey. Look, I just wear hey, it. Hold on. Hey, and I always wanted to do this. Action! Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm Billy Bennett. This is Brian Dawson, and we're going to do a little cooking show. And I am making Brussels sprouts with bacon. Don't want to say the brand, but bacon. Turkey bacon. No beef or no pig. We don't do pig. Yeah, we don't do pig, only because I was brought up that way. And so anyway... I'm going to cut open this bacon and I'm going to rinse it because it's so slimy. Just a quick rinse. And I'm going to cut it up. And then I'm going to move this over here so you can see. That I am cutting up the bacon. Just like in one inch slices or so. And I start cooking the bacon first just to get them a little bit crispy before I add the Brussels sprouts. And then I add a little bit of butter or olive oil. And today I'm going to use olive oil your preference. Give my hands a quick wash. So there's my bacon right here. And I love, love this pan. Me and Brian both just love it. It's spacious. It doesn't stick, make food stick too much. So it's really good. Get that started. So, um, this this kind of olive oil butter is not, it's a butter of olive oil. It's salt, solidified olive oil. And it has like sea salt and it has another oil added to it. It's a kernel oil. Palm kernel oil. So, it's a mixture. So, that's what I'm using today. So I'm just going to add a tablespoon of this and I'm going to bring you along over here so you can see. So you can see what's going on in the pan here. So I'm melting my olive oil mixture here. It's melting. don't really need a whole lot because the the bacon even though it's not pig bacon it's still bacon and it produces some oil it's very slimy so I'm going to add that in you can hear that sizzle the pan's nice and hot Okay, so this is going away. I love it. And it's going to smell so good. This is going to smell so good. I can't wait. So I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit because then it starts splattering because there's so much juices going on in here. Call it a little bit of love juices. Whatever. Sometimes, you know, I have a funny sense of humor. And other times, I'm just like serious as can be. It just depends on my mood, right? We all have those days. So I figured I would start cooking live. I have girlfriends that always ask me, you know, for recipes for a lot of my dishes. So I thought, why not have it live? And I can just show them and show all of you. Um, just simple, simple stuff, but you know, I'll try to share tips as I learn them, 
share. Let's see if this works better. There we go. Now you can see me in the pan. So as I learn tips, I like to share them. And I'll try to think of tips, or as I think of them, I'll share them. So, and the tip that came up today was just something, a cleaning tip, which is to stick your, your sponge that you use for cleaning dishes and everything like that, to stick it in the microwave for like 30 seconds to a minute. And it sanitizes them. So... A lot of times when you smell that stink, that bacteria, instantly you just want to throw it away. But if it's still in good condition, like this one here, it's fairly, fairly good. I just give it a quick rinse, squeeze out the water, and here's the microwave right over here. Stick it in here for one minute. And then when it comes out, it is stinking hot. But that's a good thing because that just shows that it's disinfected. So, so while that's doing its thing, we're going to go back to our pan over here. Um, and it's, oh, it's starting to smell really good. Can you smell that, Brian? Mm -hmm. 